Hello everyone, Ned McGuire here. I'm going to show you a delicious sweet and sour chicken dish with some noodles. So the first thing I'm going to do is start by sealing off my chicken. So I'm going to use some nice rapeseed oil. Okay, a nice drizzle of this. And what I've done with the chicken breast, so this is some corn-fed chicken which is fed on maize. So if you look at the lovely yellow color, and that's the maize that gives it that. So I'm going to season this up. I'm going to put it onto the pan, turn up the pan nice and high, and I've cut it into nice thin slices. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do, just check the pan if it's hot, that's what we wanna hear. So we season it when it goes onto the pan. So I have about three chicken breasts in there. I'm gonna make sure now to seal that off there. Okay, let's put a little bit of salt and pepper. Give it a little shake. So, some sea salt. And then some black pepper here. So, just sealing off the chicken is the first thing we're gonna do. Now into the other pan, we're gonna start our sweet and sour sauce. Now you can poach the chicken in the sweet and sour, but I like to just seal it off. So a nice hot pan. Again, a good, really good drizzle of rapeseed oil. It's a really nice Irish rapeseed oil from Derry Carmen and County Loud. And then uh, I like it because you can get a nice high smoke point on it and it is a really lovely flavor, some oil. So let's talk about the lovely vegetables that we have. One carrot, which is just peeled and cut into strips like this. It's the smallest little strip, okay, we call that a julienne. And then what we have here is some baby corn. So we just cut the little baby corn in half. One red onion, one pepper, and I slice the red onion. It can be done anywhere. There's no right or wrong way to do this. So see the way the pan is smoking? That's exactly what I want. I'm gonna put all these lovely vegetables in. So you give that a nice little stir. So we're gonna start the nice cooking process. Now, let's have a little look at our chicken. So just move it around, I don't want to turn it too soon. I'm actually moving on to a higher ring, the middle ring here. Okay, perfect. So I'll turn that now. So I'll slice them into kind of like small little slices that you can dice or whatever you want, whatever you're comfortable doing. And make sure it's good quality Irish chicken. This is corn fed, produced in Cavan, just up the road. Okay, we're going to serve this with some noodles. So this is a zero two noodle. So these are the most beautiful noodles. Uh, I really like them. If you're cooking any kind of noodles, just uh, follow the packet instructions, but these are so easy. So some salt in the water, you drop the noodles in like that. And literally what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna switch it off and I'm gonna move it over to the side. Now these are lovely in a salad, but they're really good with the sweet and sour. So they cook really, really fast. Just I'm gonna press them like this, just with the tongs. You can just see that there. And they're just kind of gonna cook really, really quickly in boiling water. And you can pour the boiling water, you can use a veg stock, I don't. We're gonna crush in some garlic into our vegetables and then we'll start to turn the chicken. Okay, so crush the garlic, scrape it down. I'm gonna put in two or three cloves of garlic. Just peel your garlic, use a good garlic crusher into the pan, lots of vegetables, just blast this up a little bit. So we have our carrot, our red onion, and we also have the um, baby corn, it's not essential, but I think it's really nice in this, and the roasted or the red pepper. Uh, I love red pepper, and you can roast the red pepper if you want, it's lovely as a vegetable. So just give this a little stir. We're gonna flip over our chicken now. So just using the tongs. So it could just seal in the chicken. If you want to get really nice color on it, you can put a little bit of butter in it. But the way it's oil will do this, just shake the pan. Now, it's really, really quick. This Look at the way it's caramelizing there, catching there, that's exactly what I want. So nice hot pan, sealing in all the juices. This is our corn fed chicken, okay? So now, just give that a nice little new movement there, using the tongs, and that looks good. So the chicken is still raw, so we're gonna let that cook away. We're gonna put in some root ginger. So uh, I have the root ginger uh, peeled. Just watch your fingers when you're doing this. And that's gonna go into the pan. Now. Okay, we're going to play a little bit of musical chairs because the middle ring is obviously the hotter ring. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put actually all my vegetables uh, onto the middle ring. So just move it like this, very, very quickly. It's hot. So just watch yourself when you're doing this and have your chicken there. Okay, so we're not looking really to colour the vegetables. We're just looking to start the cooking process. So how are we going to make this sweet and sour? I'm going to talk you through this. First thing we're going to do is put in balsamic vinegar, or you can use cider or white wine vinegar. 
So we're going to put in one large spoonful of this. This is about three tablespoons here. This is one of my favorite style sauces and it's called ketchup manis. So it's sweet in an easy and low in salt, really, really good uh, soy sauce. Look how thick and rich that is. I'm going to put two of these in here. Now, we're cooking up nicely. So I really like that soy sauce if you're cooking mints, stews, anything like that. It works really well. So let's stir our lovely vegetables in there. Okay. Now we are going to put in some sugar for sweetness. Okay, so you have the vinegar for acidity. I'm going to turn my chicken off even though it's not cooked, but nearly is cooked. So I'm gonna put in two spoonfuls of the brown sugar. Now this is pretty much foolproof because if you add too much sugar or too much vinegar, you can adjust it to your own taste buds. Right, next thing we're gonna do is add in a can of the tomatoes. And these are the Simply Better chopped tomatoes. These are the San Marzano tomatoes. So we're just gonna stir that here. Give this a nice little stir. And then we're just gonna cook this out here. Now into that, I'm gonna put one can of water. So Using just the tap over here, we're gonna rinse out whatever's left there. You can use vegetable stock, I'm just gonna use the water here. Put that in there. Chicken is switched off. And then we're gonna season this up here now. So you can see how nice and dark and rich it is. That's two things, the soy sauce and also that really nice balsamic vinegar. So that's a three-year-old balsamic vinegar. So I'm gonna put the lid on that. We're gonna pop in the chicken. Okay, so all the chicken is really sealed off. It's still a little bit raw there. So we're gonna actually finish it off in here and stir this through. And then we're gonna put the lid on this and then pineapple. I love pineapple in a sweet and sour. So just let that just cook there for a moment. Put the lid on and then pineapple. So we have lots of lovely uh, pineapple here. Just simply taking the skin off, uh, the core off, and we're gonna dice it. So nice big chunks of fresh pineapple. If you do use a can of pineapples, which is actually fine to use, what I would do is use the syrup in that, and then you need to add a bit more vinegar. So try not to waste any of it. So lots of lovely pineapple goes in here. So we peeled it, we've cored it, and then we're gonna cut into nice big chunks. So just hold it all together using a nice big knife, and then you're just gonna chop it like that. So this sweet and sour is great because it keeps in your fridge. You can make it ahead. Uh, if you have leftover cooked chicken, you can certainly use that uh, in this so you can uh, make up your sauce and put in the cooked chicken. So just with the pineapple, we're just going to literally just sprinkle this in here. And then I love green vegetables and I'm going to use some mange too. So what I've done with the mange too is just topped and tailed them. Uh, they're raw, they're going to go in at the last minute. You could use bean sprouts, like there's loads of recipes uh, for a very simple uh, sweet and sour chicken. So I'm just going to pop this in here. And you know what's lovely when I'm not putting in here? You could use some cashew nuts. It works really, really well in this. So if you toast some cashew nuts, put them in at the last minute. And I'm telling you, you have an absolutely really healthy, delicious, sweet and sour. So let's just bring that there to the boil. We're going to season it up with some salt. We've already seasoned the chicken, so just be very careful when you're seasoning anything. You don't want to over season. A little bit of black pepper. And then we're gonna put the lid back in this. So look at the color in that. So the chicken is actually finishing off in this. It's going to poach away, so it is. So we've browned off the chicken very, very lightly. Lots of lovely vegetables, the carrot, the red onion, the red pepper. You can use red and yellow pepper, I forgot to say that too, which works really, really well. I'm just gonna bring that to the boil. Now we'll just look at our noodles. So these are the zero two noodles they're called. So the reason why they're so yellow because they're made of fresh egg. Okay, so fresh egg yolk. So that's them there. And these are lovely. I'm just gonna literally strain them. That's them cooked. There's no need even to boil them. So I'm just gonna bring it over here and we're gonna actually strain this. So strain this here. And you can just sit them like that. Toss them with sesame oil. They're lovely hot or cold. Obviously I'm gonna serve them hot now in a moment. And I'm just going to finish the sweet and sour with some basil. So I have a little bit of fresh basil. We're going to chop some fresh basil here. So you could use coriander, but I think basil is absolutely delicious. So when you're chopping, roll up your herbs, curve your fingers, and then you're going to chop this really nice and fine. So really nice thin little strips of basil. So the whole thing with the sweet and sour, it should be really tangy, fresh, fragrant, 
not to um, sweet in any way. You want it just really to your own taste buds is the best way I can describe it to you. So just sprinkle this in. Let's have a little look at this. If you're making this like for a large group and you think it's a little bit runny, so I'm just gonna thicken it with a tiny little bit of corn flour. So I have some corn flour here, but what I've done is I've just simply mixed it with cold water. So we're just going to put this in here. I don't want it gloopy, so try not to put too much uh, corn flour in there. And then we can stir this, now look at that. So that's it cooking away really nicely there. Just gonna let that just come back to the boil. Really important, and then we finish it with lime juice, and that's it done. So fresh lime, just roll it, just to get the juices going. So this is where the real kind of sourness comes in from the vinegar and also from the lime. So squeeze that in there. So that's half of one, and then the other one here. I love limes, I have to say, I think they're absolutely beautiful. Even with fish and the chicken and all that, they add so much freshness. So the most important thing when you're doing this is to taste it. So let's have a little look here. You see all the lovely green vegetables. Okay, so the munch too, and the lovely colorful, color, uh, just popping with, uh, with uh, color and hopefully flavor. So we'll just taste that. So you can see the sauce there. Mm, it's really good. For me, maybe a little bit sharp. So I'm just gonna put a tiny bit more sugar. I have a little bit of a sweet tooth. So it's all to your own taste buds. But at the same time, I don't want it too sweet. If it's too sweet, it's not that nice to eat. So just stir this again, and then we're gonna serve up. It's as easy as that. So you look at all the lovely flavor, all the lovely color you're gonna get in one pan. And you can poach your chicken from raw into that. So I'm just gonna use a bowl. We're just gonna get our noodles. So they're still nice and warm. So I probably won't use all of these. So just arrange them just in on top. Okay, so plenty of those lovely noodles. And then for our sweet and sour. So bring over the bowl there. Get lots of the chicken, get lots of the vegetables. As I say, you could put some, um, if you want a toasted uh, cashew nuts, which works really well in this. So this is our lovely chicken, nice bite-sized pieces. You're packed with vegetables, all that lovely sauce. Bit of fresh basil. Oh, look at that. Let me get a bit more chicken in there. And I think that is a beautiful sweet and sour. I'm just gonna wipe the plate and you will not be hungry after that. So that's my chicken and vegetable sweet and sour with noodles. You can serve it with rice or mashed potatoes. I hope you've enjoyed that. I hope you try this recipe. It's really quick, it's delicious, and I think um, it's a real family favorite. Happy cooking and stay safe and look after yourselves.